You know, I've often said that some of the most dangerous people in the world are dumb people with power who have just enough information to think that they know everything. And this is why I think AOC is one of the most dangerous people in Congress right now. She's demonstrated a lack of intelligence on many issues, yet she's unapologetically dogmatic in her ideals and thinks anyone who doesn't agree with her ideals is evil. Not only that, she has a massive platform that she uses to give just enough information to her audience to make them feel like they know everything while gaslighting anyone she doesn't agree with, like she does in this clip. This was supposed to be a show of force and unity and you weren't there. Explain it. Yeah, you know, I think we also had very real security concerns as well, um, as you mentioned earlier. Um, we still don't yet feel safe around other members of Congress. You really think that colleagues today. of yours in Congress may do you dirty? Yeah, well, one just tried to bring a gun on the floor of the House today. I believe it was uh, Representative Andy Harris of Maryland. He tried to um, bring in a gun onto the House floor for individuals who don't know guns are not allowed in the District of Columbia and certainly um, the House floor is uh, ha there are separate House rules that prohibit um, the bringing in of firearms. Now, these are rules that date back to the Civil War. And um, these are individuals that are trying to sneak firearms either illegally or in direct violation of House rules. Why does a member of Congress need to sneak a gun onto the House floor? Do you think they're bringing it in there because they want to protect all of you from, um, you know, insurrectionists like we saw a couple of weeks ago? Or do you think there really is a chance that you may be the enemy? Well, here's what I'll say. The moment you bring a gun onto the House floor in violation of rules, you put everyone around you in danger. It is irresponsible, it is reckless, but beyond that, it is in violation of rules. You are openly um, disobeying the rules that we have established as a community, which means that you cannot be trusted to be held accountable to what we've decided as, as a community. And so I don't really care what they say their intentions are. I care what the impact of their actions are. And the impact is to put all 435 members of Congress in danger. You know, he tried to hand off his gun to another member who didn't have a license. Um, and at any responsible gun owner knows that you don't just hand off your gun to another individual, you have to clear it, et cetera. And, um, and that just goes to show, you know, it doesn't matter what your intention is. If you are irresponsible, if you are trying to break rules, mm -hmm. you're trying to sneak a firearm onto the floor of the house. I don't care if you accidentally set it off. I don't care if you intentionally set it off. I don't care if you don't set it off at all. You are put, you are endangering the lives of members of Congress. And it is absolutely outrageous that we even have to have this conversation. Reckless, irresponsible, the Capitol, which is arguably one of the most sacred and guarded places in the country, was just breached. Like, it shouldn't shock anyone that members of Congress want to carry a firearm. This isn't new. People in Congress have been carrying firearms into the Capitol for decades. There's literally a law that allows people in Congress to carry a firearm into the Capitol. However, not being able to carry on the House floor is not a law. It is simply a rule, a House rule that... Honestly, you can't blame people for wanting to break when they just had a few days ago people who stormed the very place where they're not allowed to carry a gun for protection. AOC, no one in Congress is trying to kill you. And the fact that you would even remotely insinuate this is disgustingly disingenuous. I get so tired of this notion that anyone who carries a gun does so because they want to kill someone. We have over 400 million guns in this country and over 8 million concealed weapon permit holders. Yet there are less than 10,000 gun homicides a year with the vast majority of those homicides being drug and gang related committed with guns obtained illegally. If concealed weapon permit holders were the problem, trust me, you would have heard about it by now. For crying out loud, statistics show that on average, concealed carry permit holders are more law-abiding than government police. So this notion that you fear for your life because people in Congress carry a gun for protection is nothing more than gaslighting. From the same woman who proposed making a list of people who strongly supported Trump so that you can cancel them which makes a stronger argument for why you probably shouldn't be trusted. However, I will give you this. 
I can see how you may have a concern for a gun accidentally going off on the house floor, but if you actually knew anything about responsible gun ownership and not just use it as a talking point to attack gun ownership, you know that there's no such thing as a gun going off accidentally. If a gun goes off unintentionally, it's due to negligence, and that negligence can be substantially decreased with simple firearm safety education. So instead of trying to vilify colleagues in Congress for exercising their constitutional right, how about using this instance to create a law or program that teaches basic firearm safety on a national level? Unintentional gun deaths are actually exceedingly low. It's like less than 10% of gun deaths. So imagine how much lower we could make it if we prioritized actual gun safety education instead of gun control laws masquerading as gun safety. Then then you would actually be saving lives. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description. All right. Now we have the performance mask at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. And no, these aren't the masks that suffocate you to death. You can breathe in this mask. Um, it's lightweight material, very high quality. You know, you know how I do.